Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel Altcoin Reviews. Today I am here with one more video on arbitraging and the topic of today's video is frequently asked questions, explanation of frequently asked questions, uh, FAQs. So basically this is the second part of my previous video uh, which I made on vault related FAQs. Okay, and uh, in this part, I am going to explain you the rest of the two questions which were left in my previous video. And if I will have time, I will also try to explain some of the advantages of Vault uh, which I wanted to tell you. So let's quickly move towards the Vault FAQs. So we have some time uh, for the general talks about the Vault advantages. Okay. So this is the Vault FAQs. If you want to read it yourself, you can come to the FAQs page from here. Uh, as you can see, uh, here it is on the left hand side menu of the arbitraging website page. Uh, you can click on FAQs and you will get to the this page. And from this, if you go down, scroll down a bit, you will see vaults here. Okay. So here are the four questions related to vaults. And in a two, I already ex question two questions I already explained in my previous video, and two were left. So let's start this video here. Let's start the question number three. That what are the vault are vault rules? Okay. So rules are simple, which I already explained in my previous uh, video question question number two also. Rules are simple that 2% is the deposit fees and 1% is the withdrawal fees and you may enter and exit anytime. So that's the one thing which I wanted to clear because most of the people have one question uh, that if they if they get inside the vault, if they deposit their R coins inside the vault, what is the time frame? they can exit outside the vault because most of the people think that same as a bot like a bot have restriction that once you deposit inside the a bot you cannot do like that that deposit withdraw deposit withdraw once you deposit you you have to hold for the long term or un until or unless there is some kind of an emergency but not inside not in the vault vault is different than a bot okay vault have no rules like that you have to deposit inside the vault. You can do any time with 2% fees you have to pay. And you can do withdrawal any time you want. You just have to pay 1% fees. Let's say you deposit and you change your mind. You said you don't want to keep inside the vault. You can withdraw at the same time within one minute also. And you will only get charged the 3% fees, nothing else. But you can do that, okay? So that's the clarification which I wanted to make because most of the people were confused about this. That they were thinking that once they put the R coins inside the vault, uh, there is a specific time frame. Uh, till then they cannot take that out. No, it's not correct. Uh, you can deposit and withdraw or you can say enter or exit the vault anytime you want. There are no restrictions for that. Okay, now let's move towards the last questions that how do I use the vault tab? Okay, so it's a long explanation. Let me show you that click on the vault tab in your account. The left to the left, you see the instructions for the ARB vault, and to the right, the steps you use the Ethereum vault. Okay, so this in this image it has showed that how to use vault it has explained let's directly move towards the vault main page and let me show you from there so here is the vault page as you can see 2.911 million R coins are there and 310.71 ethereum are there uh, R coins worth is 174,706 USD and ethereum worth is 77,474 USD okay so let's start with the ARB uh, vault updates or oh, not updates, ARB vault steps and rules. Okay. So if I am able to zoom in this, yes, I, I hope you will be able to see this correctly. Okay. So this is the ARB vault uh, rules. Uh, so step to use ARB vault. Number one, deposit ARB into your main system wallet. First, you have to deposit your ARB inside your main system wallet. If you have it inside your exchange wallet, you have to transfer it to your system wallet. Okay. Now, enter ARB deposit amount in deposit section below. Okay. Let me zoom out a bit. Okay. Here is the deposit section. You can see 
let me zoom out a bit more okay here is the deposit arb section you can see here in the amount you can write whatever the amount of arb coin you want to deposit okay and when you click the deposit button the deposit will be done okay so that's what i wanted to explain in the step 2 now let me zoom in again after entering the deposit amount click deposit okay you do not use metamask or my ether wallet to our vault okay that number the instruction they have provided is you don't have to deposit directly from your metamask or uh, ether wallet okay first you have to deposit inside the system main wallet directly from deposit button here when you click on deposit here it is deposit you will get the address to make a deposit inside the arb and on you have to make a deposit on that and from that you will get the coins inside your system wallet and from that system wallet you can directly deposit inside the vault by writing the amount of arb coins you want to deposit and click on deposit here okay now the rules i have already tell you that 2% is the fees for deposit and 1% is the fees for withdrawal okay now let's move towards the ethereum rules okay the steps to use our steps to use ethereum vault deposit ethereum into your metamask or my ether wallet if you are using metamask enter your ethereum deposit amount below after entering your deposit amount click deposit to send okay if you using my ether wallet send ethereum to the contract address okay the ethereum vault rules okay all deposits have 2% fees that is divided as reward for the current shareholder there are no fees to withdraw you can withdraw at any time you will never lose your ethereum from other users withdrawing okay so ethereum rules are also simple if that you can deposit your ethereum directly from Meta, metamask or my ether wallet okay if you are using metamask you have to write the amount here and when you click on deposit it will deposit to the metamask after entering your deposit click the amount click the deposit to send okay and if you are using ether wallet you have to directly send to the contract address which they are providing you okay where which you can get by clicking on here ethereum on depending on the ethereum network view on ether scan all deposits have all the deposits which will be done have 2% fees and that fees will be divided among all the members which are inside the ethereum vault okay and there are no fees for withdrawal you can withdraw your amount anytime and you will never lose any of the ethereum which you have deposited inside the vault okay now let me zoom out of all this this is the ethereum arb ethereum arb deposit uh, tab and this is the ethereum deposit tab whatever the amount you want to deposit you have to write here or whatever the amount of ethereum you have to deposit you have to write here and then click on the deposit button whatever you are making a deposit and same with the withdraw arb uh, if you think that that's enough now you need to put take the arb out of the system you just need to click withdraw arb and it will take you the process of withdrawing okay and same with withdraw ethereum you just have to write the amount of ethereum here and when you click on withdraw it will give you the withdraw and the amount will be deducted from the vault whatever you make a withdraw so that's that are these are the simple rules for using the vault there is no rocket science just you need to keep in mind these two simple rules that for our you have to give 2% for the deposit and 1% for the withdrawal and for ethereum you have to give 2% for the deposit and no fees for the withdrawal now let me show, tell you the some some advantages because last minute of this video is left so let me tell you some of the advantages of keeping your coins inside the vault one if you do not want to do trading do not want to do anything you just want to hold your arp coins for the long term you can keep them inside the vault what advantage which it will give you because as you can see after your deposit every deposit will be made uh, you will uh, the two percent fees will be divided amongst all our holder inside the vault and one percent fees will be divided amongst all our holder uh, inside the vault so like this your arb amount will grow slowly it will grow slowly not faster but 
it will give you something if you just keep your arp coins in your main account or in your hard wallet or anywhere you keep you will not get any benefit for that because if you are not doing anything neither you are doing trading neither you are investing in a bot or not you are not you are doing nothing okay so if you keep inside the vault basically you will earn fees and like that your arp coins will increase and whenever you want to take out you can take out there are no restrictions for that so these are the advantages if you keep your arp coins inside the vault your coin will grow slowly and like this you will earn little little profit and it can grow big if you keep your arp coins inside the vault for the long term okay so that's it for the arp arbitraging vault platform now in my next video i will cover reg regarding the wallets okay so let's end this video here and if you like the video i will be very thankful of you and if you don't like the video no problem and please uh, share this video with your friends and give your opinions in the comment section and subscribe to my channel thank you so much for watching the video have a very wonderful day bye bye